Welcome to Condition by Kia. So in this video, I'm going to be going over some mobility movements that are going to be great if you have just recovered from any lower back pain, hip pain, or sciatic pain. So all you're going to need is an office chair and your body. Let's do this and let's have some fun. All right, first things first with your office chair, you're going to want to sit nice and straight. Your knees will need to be at 90 degrees with your feet in front of you, never crossed. You want that circulation going. And we're just going to start with some spinal twists here. So your hands are going to go behind your head and you're going to twist, I'm going to rotate my chair, you're going to twist, take a nice deep breath, and then you're going to twist the other way. Do one more for each side. Only twist as far as comfortable. And come back forward. A little sideways. Remember, you're only stretching as far as comfortable here. One deep breath, back to neutral, to the other side. Now you will notice maybe one side, you can stretch a little bit further than the other side. That just means you gotta stretch a little bit extra. One more to the other side. Keeping your hands here. Over arch and come forward. That's gonna stretch the upper back. Come back to neutral. Over arch. And then come back to neutral. This is kind of replacing that cow dog movement, except you're not going to have to get on the floor. One more. Bring your hands down, roll those shoulders up. Now for this part, you are going to have to stand up. You can use a foam roller. You can even use your chair. That's the beauty of it. So we're going to do some leg circles. We're going to do 10 for each side. Out back in. Grab the wall if you need to for balance. Go nice and slow because if you have just recovered from any of that pain from your lower back or hips, then you're going to want to be able to take it nice and slow without hurting yourself again. You're at four. Back and forth is one. That's five. Six. Every move I'm going to do today is just one time. Seven. The knees are all unlocked, especially the standing one. That's nine, ten. Switch. All right, now we're going to go to that other leg. So up and over. That's one, two. Remember, out and in counts as one. We're at three, we're going for ten. Four. rotation and everything into those hips. Nice range of motion here. That's three, going for ten. Four, five. Now when I put my foot down, I'm just going right next to the other foot. We're at eight, two more. Nine, ten. Now remember, unlocked knees. Up, out and down. It's one, two, three, four. If you're feeling a pull from that previous sciatic pinch that you might have had or lower back pain, don't go out as wide, go as wide as comfortable. This one is seven, eight, 
nine, and ten. You can hang on to your chair too as well for this one. Because we're going to go knee up, step it back. Your heel touches the ground back here. This knee is slightly bent. Knee up, step back. This is going to give you range of motion in those hips and flexion. That's two. We're taking it slow. That's three. Four. Keep your chest up nice and high for this. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Now we're going to go to the other leg. So knee up. Step back to where your heel touches the ground. Two. come up this high that's fine it's the range of motion that builds over time three four five six seven Nine, one more to go. Ten. Straight leg march is the next one. On the knees, you need to stay unlocked, chest is up high. One, two, only come up as far as comfortable. Three, four. Sometimes it's easier to hold the wall so your chair doesn't roll on you. Five. So that way it's 10 each leg. That's 17, 18, 19, 20. All right, so this one, you may want your chair or the wall for this one. This one is actually gonna be beneficial for many, many reasons, because you're gonna go kneel touch the ground, come on up, and get up. We're doing five on each side for this one. Kneel, touch the ground, all the way up. That's two. Four. 
but all right. So this one, you're gonna want your hands behind your back. We're gonna do a deadlift twist, but it's not gonna be as bad as you're imagining. Unlock your knees, half left, not all the way down, just halfway. Come on up, twist your right arm to your left side, and bring your hand back. That's one. Half down, come up, that's two. We're going for 20. Three, be sure to keep those knees nice and unlocked. Four. So this is a reach high side lift. So this knee is staying unlocked, but it's a stable one. This one, your toe is touching and your leg is straight, but still unlocked. Arms are high in the sky. Now rotate and touch your hip. That's one, two. It's gonna work on that spinal rotation in your lower back. to switch sides. Toe pointed on that side. Reaching on the opposite. Rotate and reach down. That's one, two, three, four. Especially if you've had a sciatic pinch recently, these ones feel pretty good. lower or something that's higher. If you need something that's lower, you can even use something book height. Just depends on how tight those muscles are. So if you need something lower, it's going to look like this. Toe tap, knee lift, bring it down. Toe tap, leg lift, and bring it down. But if you are a bit more recovered, you can go up to the top of your chair, lift, bring it down. We're going to alternate for 20. grab onto that's fine too. 16, 17, 18, 
19, and 20. All right, we got one more move to go. My arms may disappear, so I apologize for that. But your arms are all the way up. You're gonna flex back as you step back. This is gonna work on that lower back and the hips. That's two, three, it's like a standing Superman. Four, five, alternate for 20. All the nerves surrounding that area are feeling awesome. If you have any favorite stretches or favorite mobility moves that you like to do for your lower back or sciatic nerve issues, feel free to leave that in the comments below and I would love to see your opinions on that one. But as always, I hope you have an awesome and wonderfully blessed day and I hope to see you on the next one feeling awesome and great.